Okay, I'm going to go here. Oh, this is really brave, man. I'm laughing because I uh, had really bad guests. So I'm trying to do a video on autism. I do this every April, uh, near the end of April. I you know, like to throw in one last video. Because uh, there's a few people out there that are autistic. Uh, a lot of it has to do with processed food and stuff. Uh, I want to mention as a kid, I dealt with autism, uh, partially, partial autism, mostly Asperger's uh, my whole life. Uh, kids made fun of me. Oh, uh, man, it kind of hurt. But I had one good thing, which was electronics. Uh, you know, I knew how to fix things. In fact, you know, the people had me fix things in grade school, the ones that did not make fun of me, uh, lived near Denver, uh, that grew up with me in Elgin. Uh, Feel the compadres, uh, you know, they always had me fix stuff, and uh, it's kind of cool. So they had faith in me, and they still do, you know. Now I work on uh, computers, so, you know, I'll go over here, got this uh, VMware player, which has a virtual Mac operating system in it, still working on it, so it's, I uh, uh, got a few issues, uh, got to work on a few bugs, and then over here, you know, cell phone, then a Mac that has the uh, issues with the motherboard. And, and fans and stuff so uh, but basically you know for people that have autism it, it is rough because you know the, we're not of the norm and so I'm speaking on behalf of uh, several of the kids that are autistic or have Asperger's and uh, there's a few people that uh, took their time to talk to me like my fourth grade teacher uh, Bill Lucas uh, had a fifth grade teacher sister Rosemary um, you know, before they had a third grade teacher, Mrs. Bell, that took the time. And Mrs. Bell could not understand. She just knew I had like a learning disability as a kid. I could barely do math. And, uh, and then it was years later, uh, I actually went to college and uh, things clicked. Um, I learned uh, computers by two bikers and two hippies here in Manatee Springs. I learned how to run a computer and learned how not to break them and then I learned how to program them. I learned how to run Linux and program Linux in a bar called the Ancient Mariner. Yes, in a bar I learned how to do Linux. And since then I took off with Linux and I have my own operating system which is similar to a Mac or a Mac. There's another Mac. So, yeah. Anyway, got a few Macs. So, I just want to speak on behalf of the people autistic because um, there's hope. I mean, you got to find your niche. And the idea is don't give up. Do not give up. Um, I spent a lot of time in Manatee Springs, and there's a bumper sticker that says, Keep Manatee Weird. I like being weird. This is one of the few places I'm accepted. And that's why I'm very passionate about this town. I started Flood Page, uh, Manatee uh, Fountain Creek Floods 2014. And a lot of responses on that page. Uh, I went to a town hall meeting. So there's things that I could do. I walked up to the mic to speak at the town hall meeting. And I sometimes stutter. And the people in the chairs behind me, you know, several hundred, uh, know that I stutter. And if I stutter, oh well. It's no big deal. I got up to the mic, said my piece. And there I am, this... this person that's partial autistic or with Asperger's, I walked up to the mic and asked about this uh, new road. So basically, um, when I'm not so nervous or stressed, I don't stutter. But if I'm nervous and stressed, I, I, it, it's just like, it, 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 like standing in front of a pretty girl. You know, it's like, hi, how are you? And then I forget my words, you know. It's like being in high school all over again. Uh, in the background is uh, John Butler. Uh, he's playing a song called Ocean. Uh, my friend Kerry Trava turned me on to this music. So that's another thing that help is, is, helps is uh, music, good music, listening to music. It kind of sets the tone, the wavelength of whatever. A lot of times when I'm programming computers, I'll be listening to ACDC or, you know, just, you know, uh, Nirvana, you know, uh, some of that music that kind of puts my brain at a certain level and I could just get right in there and you know insert code and make it do stuff right now this is a window so anyway this is a long video uh, 
but the fact that I could actually insert code or write some code and uh, reflash cell phones, I flashed one brain box of a car, got most of the bugs out of that ROM, which is a read-only memory. Uh, yeah, that's that's cool. It's a Ford Escort. And it uh, ran crappy. It kind of broke down four times. Not not really broke down, but the brain box is not allowing it to be on the highway for very long. So on the way back from Chicago, Michelle and I had to pull over probably about 45 or 50 times to let the car cool down until I was able to rewrite the chip of the brain. I downloaded the ROM from Australia, and I had to tweak the ROM for this altitude. So, you know... The, you know, there I am, this is the autistic guy. So anyway, another thing is that, uh, you know, years ago I made a lot of money, so I do, do not qualify for uh, a lot of public assistance. Uh, I was an engineer. I was smart. Smart. And so I don't uh, qualify for public aid. I've got to pay my own health insurance. That doubled. And I still, to this day, you know, years later saying, you should apply for public aid. Well, I already have. I don't qualify. And I have people that are like on the system, they get Section 8, they get public aid, they get free health insurance, and they want me to drop everything I'm doing. Uh, but sometimes I, you know, work on computers for the newspaper. And so just, you know, there you have it. I uh, just want to just, you know, it's kind of a long, long video here, but I just want to explain that, uh, you know, I, uh, when I had cancer, I, I paid, you know, I spent most of my life savings on uh, cancer bills and stuff. My cancer's gone. And I still, to this day, do not qualify for public aid or Medicaid or whatever. Uh, don't have dental. And so when people try to ridicule me and make fun of me, well, they're sitting pretty. They're sitting comfortable on public aid, Section 8 housing, a lot of food stamps and all that stuff. And uh, it's hard for me. Um, and when I look at some of these people, their their life seems a bit shallow. Sorry. Their life seems to be a bit shallow uh, compared to some. Uh, I was taught as a kid to make the best. I had a good grandma. My mom would, you know, really push me to make something of yourself. And sometimes I was happy doing what I was doing and I had to find myself. Well, guess what? I'm 53 years old and I'm still trying to find myself, you know, with or without cancer with or without autism so the music ended and so the video is going to end but like i say for those that have a little bit of autism uh don't give up you know just find your way and if people make fun of you like it happened to me uh don't let it get the best to you so anyway basically i've got a bug tracker bug management i do bug fixes and operating systems of several computers including all of the amd graphics cards that they now have uh, on sale. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think AMD should give me one of their best chips. You think? Okay. Well, I gotta go back to work and put this mountain line back into this Windows unit. unit. Okay. Soldering. Okay. Back to work.